Scientists and doctors have been screaming, wash your hands, this may seem simple, but there's a lot of amazing science behind it, especially in the soap. So let's get down to the real science and why it's so important. First off, water is the main part, but it has some unique properties because it is a polar molecule, positive for the H and negative for the O. First off is adhesion, which is water's ability to stick to other materials, like you see here at the top of the mesh on the jar. The second property is cohesion, which is water's ability to stick to itself. And this is the most important one, so let's get a closer look. Cohesion is what causes surface tension. Surface tension is created because the water molecules on the surface have less molecules surrounding them, so they form stronger bonds there. And this is very strong. As you can see, the water can't even fall through the mesh, but if you add soap, the surface tension goes away. All dry, but got a little dirty to show you more. So why did the soap break the surface tension so easily? Well, imagine this water balloon is a stream of water. The balloon itself is surface tension. As you can see, it doesn't clean the dirt off that well. Then imagine that this needle is soap. Soap has a hydrophobic side, meaning it doesn't like being near water, and a hydrophilic side, meaning it likes being near water. When the hydrophilic side, which is the alkaline in soap, gets near water, it bonds with the surface water molecules, thus decreasing the bond strength with the others. We put a mixture of soap and water inside of the balloon so you can really see how it looks when the surface tension is broken. You can actually see this in the slow-mo video. The one on the left has only water inside, and the one on the right has a soap and water mixture inside. The water by itself holds shape while the other not that much, and the soap and water mixture splash pattern is more evened out while the plain water has raised because of the cohesion. When the surface tension is broken, it's called wetting. It's actually making the water wetter. To measure this, you use the measurement degree of wetting. To find this, you measure the contact angle between the droplet and the solid surface. The smaller the contact angle, the smaller the surface tension, the greater the degree of wetting. For water, the better you clean your hands. But soap has two more reasons why it's so important. Both deal with the hydrophobic side of the soap, the fatty acid tail. First, the fatty acid tail helps destroy some germs like coronavirus. The virus has an outer membrane of lipids that the fatty acids love to be connected to. This membrane also has the protein spikes on it that helps the virus invade cells. Since the soap has a fatty acid tail when you rub your hands together during washing, those fatty acid tails connect to the viral membrane, thus breaking up the membrane, effectively breaking apart the virus so it can't infect you. Second, the fatty acid tail also loves to attach to dirt and oil that may contain these germs. The hydrophobic and hydrophilic part of the soap create little spheres that trap the dirt and oil called micelles. Then they carry them off with the water, acting as connections between the water and the oil. The soap breaks the surface tension, the water spreads out more, thus you're able to trap and destroy more germs. So chemistry says to wash your hands with soap and water. 